My name is Nancy Peña. I'm the director of Colores Latinos TV uh, here in Lowell. Colores Latinos TV is a, a bilingual monthly TV show that broadcasts uh, educational material to uh, not just to educate, but also engage the community to learn about resources, cultural events, uh, and, and more. I like to produce uh, in the local channel because, uh, you know, community media is, uh, is a very powerful tool. It is important to discuss issues that are affecting our uh, community and the local channel. People who want to learn about festivals and local news, they go to the local channel. We are in April, close to the, to the spring here in Massachusetts and Lowell. And what it motivates me to uh, start taking those photos that you see behind me in the exhibition we will have for the whole month of April is because uh, I most of the time work from, from home. I realized that walking outside, especially here in Lowell, we have some beautiful places and people don't pay attention. People, my friends were telling me, Nancy, when are you going to put and frame those photos and sell it? So I realized that people are actually really like the photos, the concept. We need to continue with this movement to engage the community and connect it more with the natural thing instead of being connected with the internet or our phone. I think that Lowell can offer many um, subjects, like uh, for example, in photography, right? We have a lot of history in Lowell. Uh, we have a lot of also uh, museums and uh, again, the Merrimack River, right? And other, other areas then you can really enjoy taking photos uh, historically and, and also very uh, modern uh, photographies, right? Because Lowell is, is, is growing, so we have new buildings, but also we have the historical buildings. And uh, as a journalist, I think Lowell can offer you also a lot of different subjects. When I walk in, in Lowell, um, as, as you know, we had the Merrimack River, right? Our Merrimack River is one of the longest ones in Massachusetts. It comes from uh, New Hampshire, and goes to the whole Merrimack Valley. It's, it's, it's huge. So the Merrimack River is something that really um, attracted me a lot because it brings me peace and also it brings me how life continues, right? Because as a river, the life is never stops like the river. And, I, and that is something that I really enjoy because sometimes when I'm sad and sometimes when I feel like a little bit, you know, uh, then I don't want to do something, I just get back to the river. I remember the river and I said, the river is moving right now, so I should keep moving too. So my, my goal with this caminata also is not just to invite the community to walk through the river and observe animals in the river. For example, we can see here, we have uh, some animals, beautiful animals. And when I took photos with, the, with animals, I really am, enjoy and appreciate um, you know, their, their existence and um, how peaceful they look sometimes. And sometimes I think like, maybe next life I want to become a dog because they look so peaceful and relaxed, right? They're just having fun with the, with the whole family and other, other animals and sharing, which is important. I, I noticed in taking photos of animals, um, last time I, I see a couple of animals, it was um, a squirrel, a couple of birds, and a rabbit, and they were sharing food. They were in the same place sharing food. They, they, they wasn't fighting each other. And that was a message there, right? Like how wonderful would it be if we as a human beings can share in the same community without fighting. But uh, the Merrimack River really, I have a, a lot of attraction for that, a lot of respect for that river. It brings a lot of life and it, it brings beauty to our local community. So we hope to have you here in this exhibition and it's gonna uh, stay from April 6th to April 30th. You will see a lot of photos and I have been taken for the last three years during I, I walk and exercise. We have photos from uh, California, Guatemala and, and local here in Lowell. And uh, something that we are doing with this uh, event also is to support a low income family in Guatemala. Unfortunately, this family, one of her kids um, has uh, leukemia. And 20% of uh, the total we sell is going to go to Guatemala and support um, this young kid that unfortunately has leukemia. And we will support them with transportation and perhaps a couple days in a hotel where they're trying to get some treatment in the, in the Guatemala city.